Phil Spencer and Xbox comes into their studios with this, you know, after they purchase you or after they, you know, open. Hey guys, you know, we just want to provide you the resources. We don't want to control anything. We'll let you do whatever you want to do. We just want you to create great games. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really believe in that approach. I believe you allow, I believe in my personal opinion, and I don't know what goes on behind closed doors, but in my personal opinion, uh, I believe that Phil Spencer and Xbox allows these, these developers a little bit too much autonomy. I just, if me, I'm coming in with the iron fist so yeah like all that yeah we just want to be the nice guys and we want you to nah i ain't doing all that tell us how much money you need we'll give it to you but in return you're gonna do x y z and you're gonna do it at this time that time this time and if you don't heads is rolling period that's how i would run it and and, and, and con incoming hot take the industry not gonna like me for saying this not that anybody would watch this video but all this whining and complaining about crunch it's got to go you motherfuckers get paid six figures and we're back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Atreus. I'm coming at you live from the ATL, bringing you more pop culture news, commentary, and analysis. Uh, mm. <laughs> and we're back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Atreus. I'm coming at you live from the ATL, bringing you more news, commentary, and analysis on pop culture, video games, movies, TV shows, and everything in between. We got to talk more about this. God damn acquisition from microsoft activision blizzard they're throwing haymakers let's get into it right after the draw what makes you think that i'm an answer if you ain't mine even if you all right team so i apologize from yesterday I had a little bit of a technical uh difficulty with my equipment so recording was a little bit of a chore so we didn't really even get to put out any uh content yesterday but i'm gonna make up for it today uh so Go ahead, hit the like button, the red subscribe button. Go ahead, down in the description, follow me on the socials, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, whatever the case may be. Hit me up on there. If you are a sub, I will follow you back. All right, just let me know. Let's go ahead and get into the news. All right. So here we are. Microsoft is coming out throwing more haymakers, man. Now, before I get into all of this, Remember earlier, I was, I was making videos telling y'all that the console war is real. And that's because it is. Right? Hold on. Hold on a second. Let me fix my mic. The console war is real. I've been saying that from the jump. I've been saying that, you know, for a while. This is why I don't get mad at console warriors. I will roast them for saying something stupid. But I don't really get mad at console warriors. I've told y'all to stop letting content creators, journalists, and YouTubers, and all of that stuff gaslight you into thinking there's no console war. I've seen them do that for the last two or like I want to say ever since the Series X and the PS5 dropped. You go to any other um, gaming, you know, channel or you know, uh, media, and all they do is tell you, oh. These companies at the top, they don't care about the console war as if as if Sony execs and Microsoft execs are sitting at the top, shaking hands and drinking tea together, talking about, you know, how they're going to sing Kumbaya together on this console war thing. No, it's not fucking real. They're at the top trying to rip each other's throats out, especially Sony. Sony's been trying to do it for the last 10 years. They've been trying to put Microsoft or, or Xbox more specifically in the dirt. Because that's what business is. Business is war. It's about taking out your opponent and maximizing your profits. Now, I'm not mad at either company. Sony's trying to protect their own interests. Uh, I do believe it would be catastrophic for them if they were to um, lose Call of Duty. But anyway, let's get into uh, what this, uh, what these tweets are saying, man. Microsoft accuses UK regulator of adopting Sony's complaints over Activision Blizzard deal. And this is what Microsoft had to say. These unsupported theories of harm are not sufficient to justify a reference to phase two, Microsoft said. The suggestion that the incumbent market leader with clear and enduring market power could be foreclosed by the third largest provider as a result of losing access to one title is not credible. Agreed. While I do believe it would be detrimental, it wouldn't shut Sony down. Anyway, while Sony may not welcome increased competition, it has the ability to adapt and compete. Xbox did. Xbox knew that it couldn't come out with, with quality 
uh, 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 content like Sony did right away. So what did they do? They created Game Pass, and it's working. And they adopted a more, uh, how do you say, uh, customer friendly, you know, marketing. The Xbox owner referenced uh, Sony's leading position in the console market, citing an install base of 150 million versus Xbox's 63.7 million. That's more than double the amount of players on Xbox. Sony engages in conduct today, uh, which is reflective of its market power and console gaming, including increasing prices of its consoles without fear of losing market share. Referencing recent PS5 price increases, price rises in some territories. I'm sorry. And Microsoft, I mean, they they throwing haymakers, man. <laughs> They're throwing haymakers. And, you know, who knows how all of this is going to shake out, right? Uh, like I said, my prediction is that the deal is going to go through. And PlayStation is going to have to find a way to compete. PlayStation is acting in their best interest. All right. All they want to do is they want guarantees that Call of Duty is going to be on their platform for the foreseeable future. I think this is all that's all this is about. I don't think they really care about much else. I think that if Microsoft was to guarantee them Call of Duty for forever, I think they wouldn't care. But I don't think Microsoft is willing to do that because why would you guarantee Sony anything? We're not friends. We're, we're not we're not butt buddies. Like, why would I guarantee you and put myself in a corner? Because you'll go out and you'll guarantee Call of Duty to Sony, right? Contr contractually, uh, contractually obligate yourself to keeping Sony on their platform and then Sony fuck around and keep all these Japanese titles off your platform. And now you're feeling some type of way. So, no, you don't do that. <laughs> you don't do that. So, uh, there was more, all right, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there's this right here. The CMA's concerns are misplaced for the following reasons. Sony PlayStation has, um, yeah, we already talked about that. Uh, Sony engages in con conduct today which is reflective of its market power in console gaming, including uh, increases prices of uh, its consoles without fear of losing market share. The suggestion that, oh, so that's pretty much the same thing. Since the transaction was announced, Sony has acquired several game studios, including Bungie, developer of popular online game Destiny 2, Haven Studios, Lysendral and Savage Games, and a minority interest in From Software, the developer of the biggest game of 2022, and it was Elden Ring. This complements Sony's existing minority shareholding in Epic Games, publisher of Fortnite, strong first-party game catalog, and, ex and an, extensive, an extensive portfolio of exclusive arrangements with third-party publishers. There were over 280 exclusive first- and third-party titles on PlayStation in 2021, nearly five times as many as on Xbox. Sheesh! The dry snitching is crazy! Now... Like I said before, in the last video talking about this, Xbox hasn't proven that they can do anything other than pay for some pay for stuff, right? Uh, so it's not just because they're buying Activision doesn't mean that they're going to save it. Everybody's looking at Xbox and Microsoft is like some type of savior of Activision Blizzard. Remember, Activision was a beloved company until they figured out uh, <clears throat> how microtransactions work and, and DLC work. They figured out that you can make a game, cut content off of it, and sell it back to the uh, the player later. And then after they maximized profits doing that, they bought Blizzard, the creator of like World of Warcraft, which you know I've never played, but was a great game until Activision got their paws on it, and now people are uh, kind of on it. And so uh, I think that phil spencer and xbox comes into their studios with this you know after they purchase you or after they you know open hey guys you know we just want to provide you the resources we don't want to control anything we'll let you do whatever you want to do we just want you to create great games for us i'm gonna be honest with you 
I don't really believe in that approach. I believe you allow, I believe in my personal opinion, and I don't know what goes on behind closed doors, but in my personal opinion, uh, I believe that Phil Spencer and Xbox allows these these developers a little bit too much autonomy. I just, if me, I'm coming in with an iron fist. Yeah, I'm providing you with all the resources to make the game you want to make, but it's going to be on time. Y'all going to work this amount of time. I don't want no deviations. Get your shit together. Any deviation, heads rolling. Period. You, uh, they, Microsoft can't afford no more crackdowns, right? You can't, it, even though I don't believe Halo Infinite is a bad game whatsoever, you can't afford no more controversies. Microsoft is on the precipice of gaining a lot of market share. You cannot continue to have all these negative controversies surrounding. Remember, Sony was going years without negative controversies before the Series X came out and all this Game Pass stuff came about. I mean, they was delivering hit after hit after hit after hit. And people was just, shoo, Sony stumping a mud hole in Microsoft. So, yeah, like all that, yeah, we just want to be the nice guys and we want you to, nah, I ain't doing all that. Tell us how much money you need. We'll give it to you. But in return, you're going to do X, Y, Z, and you're going to do it at this time, that time, this time. And if you don't, heads is rolling, period. That's how I would run it. And, 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 and con- incoming hot take, the industry not going to like me for saying this. Not that anybody will watch this video, but. All this whining and complaining about crunch, it's got to go. You motherfuckers get paid six figures. Now, me, I don't know anything about developing games. Let me go ahead and say that. Uh, Every job has nuances and stressful things about it that makes it a difficult job. I would never say somebody's job is easier than the next. Unless you're working my job, because my job is fairly easy. I I ain't even gonna lie. Every job has stressful things about it. And I would never say that you don't go through anything developing games. However, you get paid six figures to develop games, goddammit. So all this whining and complaining about crunch. Now, it's different. It's different when crunch comes about because your leaders mismanage time. Fair enough. But if you've been doing everything right up until and then we just got to get a little bit of crunch in just to you know, get it in the right way, man, y'all better shut the hell up. People have become too soft. I work 65 plus hours a week, God damn it, And I come home and do YouTube. So all this whining and complaining about crunch and this, that, and the third, all right, better get these damn games done. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Microsoft out here throwing haymakers. What is Sony gonna do in response? You know what y'all think? Do let's go, let's go. Hey, hey. Beat that thing down like you started attention, my baby. Nasty time. You had some plans with your man, just tell him to cancel, my baby.